hey guys welcome to my channel my name is moyo and i have absolutely no idea what this video is about <laughs> hey guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is your very first time here you are welcome my name is moyo and i'm a social media manager and content creator based in nigeria and i film videos about my life helpful tips for content creators like me and all that good stuff you are welcome i hope that you subscribe to the channel and join the family by the end of this video and if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos i hope that you're subscribed and i hope that you've caught up on all my videos in today's video um like i said at the beginning i don't exactly have a topic for this video um but i'll figure one out when i'm editing it um this is a very very random video it's one of like the most random videos that you ever come across and i say this because i don't even have a script for the video i just thought about it and i'm like okay you know what i'm going to film it and you know i just decided to sit down and film this video so yeah um the purpose of this video is to talk about some of the reasons that hinder people from doing what they want to do so be it content creation um owning a business going to school there are so many you know reasons or excuses that um cripple people from doing what they want to do and i've been very very privileged to speak with um quite a number of people who want to be content creators and you know three out of five people so for example if i speak to five people three out of five people um have the same kind of fear or have the same kind of excuses for why they don't want to start so um some of my points in this video would be gearing towards content creation because that's what i do and you know that's like my niche so i'm going to talk about some excuses that people have given or some reasons that hinder you from starting content creation and i'm going to be um what's the word now i'm going to be Yes, I'm going to be countering those excuses and I'm going to inspire you to start. So um, I'm going to be gearing my points towards content creation because that's what I do and that's what I know about. Um, but it applies to you also if you are looking to start anything, be it a business, starting school or anything like that. And you have some fears, you know, I'm going to be mentioning some of those fears in this video and I'm going to be countering those fears. So I'm going to be giving you reasons why you should start as opposed to um, the fear that you have. And, you know, the aim of this video is just to inspire you to start, just start whatever you are afraid of. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first reason that I realized that stop people from starting whatever they want to start, especially with content creation, is what will people say about me if I do this? So um, the fear of what people will say is like one of the biggest and the most crippling things that you know people struggle with. And I'm going to counter that excuse by saying that people will talk regardless. Whether you do something, whether you don't do anything, people would talk. And there's this popular saying that um, if people don't talk about you, then something is wrong. So yeah, start regardless. Everybody will be fine. Everybody will be okay. Stop letting the fear of what people will say about you um, cripple your dreams. Another reason that has held people back from starting anything is what if I fail? And I'm going to be countering that by saying, what if you succeed? You never know because you haven't tried. So you have to try first to know if you are going to fail at it or you are going to succeed. So it's better for you to try and not fail than not to try at all. So what if you succeed? Take a chance on yourself. You never know. So just start. Another thing or another excuse that um, I've heard people talk about is I don't have all the equipment and this is especially for content creators when they want to start out they're like i can't start my phone is not good and stuff like that and i'm going to be countering that by saying that you don't need to have everything and you can't even have everything at the beginning so you don't need you have to just start with what you have i know that right now youtube is a very very visual platform and you know you can't just start anyhow but at the same time 
you need to start with what you have because you don't know how long it's going to take you to get the things that you want to get so you can't keep waiting until you have everything before you start so start with what you have another thing i've heard people say is i'm not ready yet and i'm going to be countering that by saying that you will never be ready you will never feel ready nobody ever feels like they're 100 percent ready so now i'm going to give you this illustration um when we are in school or during exams so we'll read and read my, myself and my and my friends will read and read and read and read and read and we'll read till the morning of the exam as we're going to the exam we'll, we'll still be checking our book to see if i've not forgotten anything and at the end of the day you still hear somebody say i'm not ready and i say ah upon everything that you have read you still don't feel like you're ready so you will never feel ready you will never feel ready you just have to start you will never ever feel like you're ready you always feel like there's something that you need to do there's something that you need to do but you just have to start regardless another thing i've heard people say is i don't know where to start from and i'm going to be countering that excuse by saying start from anywhere start from doing your research about anything you want to do so if you want to open a business start by doing your research on you know the business on the capital that you need to start on everything that you need to have if it's content creation that you need to start you can research do your research on you know the niche that you want to go into so for example if you want to be a social media manager you can take courses on social media management that's a way to start if you want to do youtube you can start by learning a lot about the youtube platform that's another way to start so um stop saying that you don't know where to start from start from somewhere start from doing your research start from saving up to get you know the things that you're going to use to film and then just start another excuse that i've heard people give is what if people don't like me or what if people don't like my content and i'm going to counter their excuse by saying everybody is not supposed to like you you are not made for everybody even as a content creator everybody will not like your content there are some people who will feel like what is she doing and there are some people who will genuinely like you and like what you do even in real life everybody is not supposed to like you if everybody likes you if there is some there's something wrong somewhere it's either you don't have boundaries or you're a people pleaser everybody is not supposed to like you and take it from somebody that is a people pleaser i always like want to go out of my way to like you know please people so who I, I used to struggle with this a lot and i used to go out of my way to make people like me you know because i just wanted them to see me as a good person thank you jesus i'm getting delivered from this little by little <laughs> but yeah thank you from somebody who used to be a people pleaser um everybody is not supposed to like you everybody will not like you everybody is not even supposed to like you in the first place because you don't like everybody you don't like everybody you have people that you like and you have people that you don't like so everybody will not like you too so yeah another thing i've heard people say is oh i'm afraid and i'm going to counter that by saying that um everybody that is great today once started as a beginner so all the big content creators that you know they were once beginners every big business people that you know there was once a time that they were also starting new in their niche so stop being afraid and this is not easy to say because even it happens even to the best of people even the best of content cre creators still get very anxious about their content to get even me that i'm not even a big content creator there are sometimes that i make some videos for instagram and then after i watch it like two times i'm just like mm, what is the meaning of this and then i delete it so um you have to just start regardless don't let your fear cripple you like i said earlier you never know because you haven't tried so don't let your fear cripple you and you know do what you're supposed to do another excuse that i've heard people say is what am i bringing that is new you know everybody has said what i want to say so what am i bringing that is new and i'm going to counter that by saying that you you are new We've never seen anybody like you before. Your mojo, your style, the way you talk, the way you act is new. As long as you stay true and authentic to yourself, as long as you are not trying to be like someone else, you will find people who relate with you and who will support your brand. 
another thing that i've heard people say is oh my niche is oversaturated and i'm going to counter that by saying that there's hardly any niche that is not oversaturated hardly any niche is it clothing stores do you know how many instagram vendors that are selling clothes hey they are plenty like water do you know how many youtubers that we have do you know like how many fashion designers like in this area that i'm living from my house to like maybe just take a five minutes walk you will come across at least 20 fashion design shops in my area so there's hardly any niche that is oversaturated and let me tell you something else more people are still coming and i said this because there was one time that i went out and somebody saw me holding my camera and they asked me are you a videographer i was like no i'm a vlogger and the person now went ahead to ask what do vloggers do and i just thought about it i was like there are so many people that don't even know that something like vlogging exists and they're going to come to that knowledge someday and they are also going to start theirs so if you think that your niche is oversaturated now there's hardly any niche that is not oversaturated and more people are still coming so just start i probably said just start like 20 times in this video and that is actually the purpose of the video it's just to inspire you to start so you have to change your mindset from what if i'm not good enough to i am good enough i deserve to be here you understand so yeah this brings us to the end of the video i hope that this video was inspiring um the whole purpose of this video was just to talk about some excuses or some reasons why people are afraid to start whatever they want to start and just inspire you that start what's the worst that could happen like i said you don't know because you have not tried so you just have to take a chance on yourself and try so i'm inspiring someone out there to start today whatever you are afraid of just start i hope that you found this video helpful and inspiring um if you have any other questions or any other reasons why you feel like you don't want to start yet um let's continue the conversation in the comment section let me know what you think about this video please like the video share subscribe and i hope that you start whether it's content creation whether it's going to school whether it's starting that business i hope that this video inspires you to start and i'll see you guys in my next video bye